here in now sunny California. We got one day of no rain, so we're gonna go into Williams and get us some burritos. Ah uh, yes, El Toro Loco. When you see all the sauces. That's the one, medio litro. Media. And in typical fashion, when you're with a guy that's got a junkyard, you're going to get some cars. They've got the trailer over there. Go, wee! <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
So what point does it overcome its uh, tipping? Right now? It's balance, yeah. That's when it decides to tip. Oh, it's sinking in good enough, it might not. <laughs> Yes. Well, thing I think is to kind of so sled it down a little bit, then maybe yeah. we can hook yeah. something and drag it towards the front. Yeah. Yay. That wasn't so bad. went digging and all these old key blanks and I might have found a trunk key blank I can use. Got my key blank cut at Williams Hardware. Let's see if it works. Oh. Good. Sure. I'm going to do a quick oil change because I don't know the last time this car had its oil change. Didn't really look at the notes it might have said, but figure might as well do it. So, Trip changed the oil, and when he took the oil filter off and tried to put the other one on, he discovered that the adapter was loose. So got that tightened up and the oil filter on and oil in. I'm gonna go try to find a new oil cap because this one's letting all its fiber out, which is probably not the best thing to have in the crankcase. Yeah. So might rummage around the junkyard and try to find one that looks better. Wanna do a little distributor twist to see if we can't maybe get this thing tuned in a little better. Adjusted the time and some, also adjusted the idle mixture screws and got the idle to actually be smooth. It's kind of choppy. And the nuts for the carburetor yeah. are apparently kind of loose, so tightening those up. This hose has a pretty good, it's starting to crack a good bit. So we need to keep on that. That'd be a pretty massive vacuum leak. Yeah. Could use a little brake fluid. Dot five. It's early in the morning. Well, not really early in the morning. Yeah. It's a little. It's just the morning. Mid morning. And uh, we are departing Williams, California, 
trying to get to maybe Ludlow, depending on how things go, maybe further. And should just be kind of monotonous highway drive and nothing really to do but try to get out of California, basically. So, time to hit the highway. is looking kind of grungy they didn't have any Williams so we're in Sacramento going to see if we can get another one is that going to work yep I guess that's going to work that thing was losing all its fibers yep uh, 62, 62. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's older than I am. By one year. Yeah. Nice. Thanks. Will you just toss this off? I keep the oil cap. I think get tossed. Cool, new air filter, new breather cap. Because this one was losing all the fibers into the crankcase, which isn't cool. Ah, yes, the electric car charging. Fun. Just like that, here in Sacramento, the rain came. Gotta find a place to park. Oh, right there.
brake lights are staying on and looks like the switch is kaput. The spring doesn't seem to be springing anymore. The brake light switch is pretty much done though. This guy rolled in with this, I guess his late 60s Cadillac. And I tried to buy the brake light switch off his car and he wouldn't do it. Uh, even though it's, I don't think being driven anytime soon. And he could have got a brand new one. Right, so works. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, uh, we're just gonna have to drive with no brake lights. We still got tail lights and stuff. Um, and I guess it's night time and we're gonna be on the highway. So it's not a big deal if the brake lights don't work, I guess. Hopefully that's not famous last words. Anyways, back on the road. Yep. All right, we're on Route 66. Just got on at Ludlow, headed towards Amboy to see the Roy's Neon at night. Route 66. Um, we don't have brake lights still, but we'll fix that in Kingman. I guess where we'll end up staying tonight. So no problem there. So time to cruise.